former chief White House photographer is now living in Madison. Pete Souza worked for Presidents Barack Obama and Ronald Reagan, taking photos of some of the most historic moments, but also somber ones, too. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin spoke to Souza in an exclusive interview about life after the White House and some of his memorable moments. After years of following two sitting presidents, Pete Souza is getting adjusted to a change of pace. It's calmer because <laughs> I'm sure. it's, it's, it's not 24-7, 365. Last fall, Souza moved to Madison with his wife as his daughter works through her final year of a medical residency at UW Hospital. When reflecting on his work, he said every day was different, witnessing some of the most emotional and intense situations keep my emotions in check as much as possible to be able to uh, document what was unfolding in front of me. He doesn't have a favorite photo because there's so many, but he did enjoy showing the human side of presidents through his photographs. It's unexpected moments, fleeting moments that um, reveal more about him as a human being than, uh, than as a as a president. Souza first started his career taking photographs of President Ronald Reagan in 1983. But he wasn't the chief White House photographer until two decades later, shadowing President Barack Obama during his eight years in office. In, in some ways it's like two different lifetimes and the circumstances were just so much different. Souza said he'll always cherish the time he spent with both presidents, doing what he loves, catching a snapshot of time otherwise unknown to the rest of us. When you put all the work together, I hope people have a, a good sense of what he was like as a, as a human being, as a person. As for what's next for Souza, he tells me he's working on a documentary film about his work and his social media presence weighing in on politics nowadays. He's hoping to have a watch party here in Madison once the film is finished sometime this September.